trading application Robinhood is accused for the demise of a 20 years old university student from Chicago. Robinhood was sued on Monday for wrongful death by the family of Alex Kearns, a 20-year-old customer who took his life last summer. Alex committed suicide in June after thinking he had a negative balance of $730,165 cash balance on Robinhood. Robin Hood's reckless conduct directly and proximately caused the death of one of its victims, the complaint said. In what world is it okay to show a cash balance of negative $730,000 when you know a lot of your users are retail money? His account had $20,000 in it, and you're going to flash a negative $730,000 number in front of him. It's negligent at minimum, and I'd argue it's at least reckless. The lawsuit says Alex made three attempts to contact Robinhood customer service regarding the massive underwater balance. However, his message was met with automated replies according to the complaint. This case centers on Robinhood's aggressive tactics and strategy to lure inexperienced and unsophisticated investors, including Alex Kearns, to take big risks with lure of tantalizing profits. The lawsuit is also accusing the brokerage of negligent infliction of emotional distress and unfair business practices. The complaint alleges that Kearns misunderstood the Robin Hood financial statement and was protecting his family from the financial obligation. He was a 20-year-old with no income able to get assigned almost a million dollars worth of leverage. There was no intention to be assigned this much and take this much risk and I only thought I was, I was risking the money that I actually own. The parents and sister of Alexander Kearns accused Robin Hood of luring inexperienced investors like their son to take big risks in this sophisticated financial instrument such as the options trading he engaged in, without providing the necessary customer support and investment guidance. Robin Hood built out its platform pretty much to look like a video game to attract young users and minimize the appearance of real-world risk.